It worked! I told you! If you watched the last video, you see right at the end I said I'm wearing my sun hat because it was a horrible day. I was trying to coax the sun out. And look! An hour later, beautiful sunshine. Anyway, it's Friday and it's the start of another vlog. I know I've only just finished the other one and it's uploading. Well, it's not uploading, it's processing and that at the moment. But I just thought I'd uh, get in touch and say, um, I've just been offered tickets um, to go to watch the um, Tottenham versus Villa game. And not just any tickets, um, VIP tickets in the boxes, I presume. So, yeah, and have a guess what? I can't go. And have a guess why I can't go? Because I'd have to have a medical procedure. That's right, I would have to have a medical procedure or have something stuck up my nose or tests just to go to a football match. So, obviously, I'm not going. I hope a lot more of you bloody stand up to this bollocks, because it's horrific. Going to a football match and they're asking me to have jabs or blooming stuff up me ass. They can go f themselves. Bye. I'm going to show you something amazing. It's going to change your life if you have sheepskins on your boat or maybe at home. When they go a bit flat and old looking like this, obviously I sit on this every day. Um, this was generously donated to us by Derek and Lisa aboard Snug One. And uh, it is a bit worn. So I'm um, going to brush it. Now watch this. Hold on one moment. Now look at that, how different that is to that. Again, look, actually getting some hair back to it. And flat. I'm so impressed, boy. Well, how much better is that? That's amazing, I have to say. I'm very pleased with that. I didn't think it'd work as well. But there you go. Brush your sheepskins, everyone. Hmm, that's what I thought would happen. Hector straight on it. Now the only downside of doing this, of course, is you get um, a handful of wool afterwards. You can knit some socks with that. You happy now, Hector? Bye. I want to break wind. I want to break wind for the first time. This time I know it's for real. I want to break wind. God knows. Well, look at this. It's still a little bit windy, but it's absolutely beautiful out here. I've done all my housework, done the hoovering, I've done the dusting, I've cleaned the windows, I've done the washing up, I've disinfected the carpets and the cratch. Yes, I do disinfect the carpets, believe it or not. Obviously, I've um, fluffed up all the, um, <laughs> I've fluffed myself up, I've fluffed up all the woolly things, uh, what they call them, sheepskins. So I think I've had a hard day, you know. So I reckon surely, surely, I've earned this. Dilly dilly, everyone. Happy Friday, as I say, Chinese tonight. Woohoo, bye. Good job, Hector's not out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ad breaks it wants to put in. Me? Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> Planning dinners for <laughs> next week. It's easy. Right, what well. day is it? Monday, KFC, Tuesday, kebab, Wednesday. She's put spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> We've got some in the freezer, so it needs using up. Well, well you, Hector can have that. No! Um, Thursday, Friday is Chinese, sa Saturday is curry, Sunday... Oh, lamb shanks. I do like lamb shanks, <laughs> by the way. 
It's early on Saturday morning, by the way. It's not that early. I've been up since stupid o'clock. How many watches run out? I've been up since stupid <laughs> o'clock again. I don't know what's going on with the insomnia. It's all too much. We've uh, filled up with water and uh, done a few chores already. So I don't know what we're going to do with the rest of the day. We're not going to go oh, kayaking because it's going to be... I'm working. Oh, yeah. Where are you going? <clears throat> Until. Oh, well, I didn't know she's working. <laughs> it's funny how she... <laughs> like I'm a mind reader. No. I was on the phone to my mum the other day. Are oh, you going to your mum's to, to are oh, you doing a family thing? So that's not really working, it's gossiping while cutting a bit of her. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Bye. Lee. Yes. Have a guess what? What? You know when I like having having beer and stuff? Yes. Like this is brew dog last. Lost. Mm -hmm. It isn't lost because it's in my fridge. <laughs> but it's not it's in my tummy now. But Oh. I am saving the planet. <laughs> oh, Lee, yeah. am I actually on video because you're not looking at the screen? Yes, I am. Lee, I'm saving the planet by drinking Brewdog Lost. Hmm. Because did you know what? What? This is the f this is an, uh, a carbon negative beer. Do you know hmm. what that means? No. Well, nor do I really, but it's carbon <laughs> negative. So by drinking this, I'm saving the planet. Look, it's got wind things and rains and things on. So... Dilly dilly. <laughs> but I am saving the planet. Well, they plant a tree for every beer you drink. I don't know, but it's neutral. <laughs> it's not even neutral, it's negative. <laughs> I need to drink more. Bye. Bye. Lee? Yes? Do you wish she was carbon neutral? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. You said negative earlier. Yeah, but I'm carbon negative. That means I'm taking away the carbon dioxide. And that's weird because there is a CO2 deficit, isn't there? Mm. You can't get fizzy stuff. I'll tell you, you couldn't make this shit up, boy. Uh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we haven't actually done a lot of filming today. Shall I tell you why? Because it's raining. I've been stuck it's in here all day. It's raining. I, I've, I'll tell you what, though, I've been quite industrious, to be fair, because I've done about four hours of transport fever too. <laughs> I've, been, I've been building tracks and freight and all sorts of shit. One day, I might do a live stream of me playing transport fever. That'll get loads of views. <laughs> Lee's reading it now, aren't you? Because you didn't believe me. No, just tipped it on the table. Did you waste some of my beer? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what did I actually mean, Lee? I am carbon negative, aren't I? Yes, it says brewed with surplus fresh bread using a third less water, powered by Brewdog Winter. Has it got bread in it? It says brewed with surplus fresh bread. Plant trees, the lost forest in the Scottish Highlands is a big reforestation plan to help create a carbon clean planet. Here's to you, by drinking this beer you are having a positive in impact on the planet. See, I told you, I need to drink apart, more of that. When you fart after you've had the beer. Huh. There we go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you weirdo. Look at him and his little paw across his nose. Bless him. He's such a mighty hound, I say. So very mighty indeed. I am truly fascinated by lights, you know. I love our new cracks lights. <laughs> that was a funny bump. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Sunday and it's actually 13.07 of, and, and I've only just put some clothes on and had a shower because I've been playing games, I'll show you in a minute. But what's going on in the boat? Look at this. We seem to have been invaded in the living room, Hector, don't we? We've got a, a, a giant stack of bed clothing. And oh my God, what's Lee up to now? <laughs> Lee, you haven't got any keks on. You ain't got any strides on. I was hot. Oh, what are you doing though? Sorting out under the bed because it's just full of toot. Okay, bye. Bye. Look, I'm playing Transport Fever. It's the most amazing game in the world, I have to tell you. 
So I'm going to go on screen now if I can. So I'll, I'll go through the screen capture and show you what it does. Let's unpause it. Let's have a look, shall we? Look, there's a train coming to the station, I'll say, unloading his freight. Look, it's massive. It's a massive map that I've built. It's been going to Milton Keynes. And see, there's a freight train coming in. <laughs> I'm like a big kid, aren't I? Where's the choo-choo trains? The proper choo-choo. Oh, there's a proper choo-choo train. I've got to go in on three times speed, so I can't grab hold of the bloody thing. Oh, no, that's another freight train. I say. Let's grab that. And we can go on board. Watch, we can follow it. Or we can actually go on board. Choo-choo! How cool is that? Heading for Milton Keynes, I say. So yeah, it's a transport management game and you build all this stuff. But it's kept me busy for three or four hours this morning. That's it, bye. I'm excited, we <laughs> scored! I'm excited, Come on, Navilla! Ooh, some pipers. Like to try Is one? that Billy Piper? No. She's worth a bit of a tickle, actually. <laughs> Darling. Oh, these smell very beefy. They, because, and they're not mm. vegan. No, no vegans were harmed. Mm. No, you eat them. Bye. <laughs> I'm on my kayak again, everyone. In the wind. Lee keeps letting her paddleboard down. So now what she's doing? Yay! She's not having issues anymore. She's having issues because it kept blowing itself down again. Blowing itself down? I don't know what that means. Uninflating. I knew it'd be operator error. It's very windy, isn't it, darling? This is extreme kayaking and supping. Yours, bye. It's quite windy, to be fair. Is it nearly beer o'clock? I brought beer. <laughs> well, it's definitely a bit more sheltered here. It's actually really quite nice, to be fair. I can't paddle them video. I'm going around in a circle now. Oh, what's that? Lee's getting away from me. Bye. Lee, dilly dilly. we've stopped for beer o'clock. <laughs> dilly dilly. I tell you, you just can't You're beat this life, there. can you? <laughs> Kayaking, paddleboarding, and supping. Choo choo. It's actually really quite nice out here, to be fair. Oh, I love my Luton Town kayak. <laughs> Lee, you're pulling me away oh, from the I'm bank. So sorry. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's just started to rain. <laughs> Uh, oh, pardon me. Did you pump? Uh, no, I burped. <laughs> <laughs> Very uncouth, I say. I'm so ladylike. <laughs> Mind the debris. Lee? Yes. Do you remember when we used to walk to the Blissworth? What's it called? The Royal Oak. The Royal Oak, yeah. 
we could paddle there now if we, we didn't could. need a COVID passport to get in. Well, the landlord and landlady are going. Are they? I meant to tell you that yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I saw it yesterday. I wonder why that is. I don't know. People were saying it's a shame because they've really turned it around, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, I don't know. I have to say, we're very lucky to be able to do this. Lee's going to cut me up again, look. Excuse my flatulence. <laughs> I need a makeup mirror like you used to have on your bike. <laughs> There's also that lovely smell on the canal when everyone's got their fires on. I do like some toxic fumes, I say. Just passing the second Crusader. Um, two community boats that you can hire out and go out on. Oh gosh. Roadhog! <laughs> Pardon me. I got a new toy, everyone. I'm transmitting myself to me iPad, I say, so I can film myself. Look, I'm on telly. So I got a little transmitter thing. It's really hard to film yourself with your Black Magic Pro cinema camera, 6K, whatever the hell it is. So um, yeah, so I can uh, do it all on my own now. Obviously, it's not for vlogging, but I can actually. I could vlog from it now. But I can also control all the iris and the focus and everything else from my phone. So this is like me remote control for the camera itself. And my iPad is my monitor. How cool is that? Bye. Lee? Yes. What are you doing? Together. I wonder why Hector's barking at us. Oh, he's an idiot. <laughs> Bye. You being mighty, Hector? Are you being mighty? I think you are, aren't you? You can carry on now. Monday and it's 9.30 in the evening I say and the internet's in meltdown because Facebook, WhatsApp, Messenger and Instagram are all down and been down for hours. Lots of conspiracy theories and all that sort of stuff. So saying something big's happening. It'll probably all come back on tomorrow but it's a good reminder you know that you should all be on MeWe and maybe on Getter and Gab and Parler and get rid of bloody Facebook and Zuckerberg's load of old shite. Bye. And just as a little side note to that, I've just been reading that um, personal information of 1.5 billion Facebook users is um, being sold on the dark web. <laughs> Glad I deleted my account. Lee? Yes? What are you doing? Watching telly. She's watching her iPad. And Hector's going sleepy night nights. Night night everyone. It's let's make a weird sandwich again with Paulus a wood gnome. I don't know what this bread is called. It's like a telephalavalil or something like that. So, and uh, it's obviously going a bit off now because I've had it for a few days. So I'm going to make a ham and cheese sandwich. This ham in here is for Hector and I'll give him a little bit of bread too. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to roll it all up in one. So I'll show you in a minute. Bye. <laughs> well, 
There you go. That's my lunch. And this is for Hector. All it is getting three slices. Or I might. Yeah, you're gonna have three slices, Hector. Let's give Hector some ham. Want some ham, darling? You love ham, don't you? I'll give you the rest in a minute. I can't do both. I might be able to give you one more bit. Hold on. He's so gentle as well, you know. Such a mighty hound. There's a good boy. I've got a piece of cheese for you as well and some bread. Bye. Well, I have to say that was a delicious sandwich. Was it a sandwich or was it a rollover? I don't know what you'd call it, really. I think it was some sort of Polish bread. So, yeah, I'd cut the edges off and... Uh, I didn't want it to go away, so I thought I'd give it a go. And yeah, it was really quite nice. Hector enjoyed his little bit as well. So uh, that's all good. It's blooming windy today, I have to say. Really windy. Really, really windy. Didn't sleep again last night. Woke up, at, I don't know, about six. No, a bit earlier than that, but half five. And uh, I didn't go to bed till after midnight. So yeah, I had about five and a half hours sleep last night, I suppose. So I don't really know what's going on. So I think just too many thoughts going on in my head. Still getting irritated by all this nonsense that's going on. Getting irritated that people now deem it acceptable to discriminate. Now, I was always brought up, and I always think it, you know, there is no place for discrimination on any level, really, on anything. And uh, now it seems that it's allowed. You know what I'm talking about, don't, don't you? It's quite all right to discriminate against people who choose not to be vaccinated uh, and all that sort of rubbish. And uh, people losing their jobs because they won't be vaccinated. That's discrimination. And now it's allowed. So I don't know what's going on. I tell you, I'm 54 years of age and uh, I thought I'd seen it all. But I tell you what, the last two years, it's just breaking all the boundaries, I have to say. What a load of nonsense and people still going along with it. I just don't honestly, honest to God, I don't understand. I don't understand how people can think this is okay. I don't understand how people think it's okay to discriminate. I don't think it's okay that people think all these people have died and they haven't. It is, the, what is it, the 16th out of 31 years worst figures by the ONS. I've said it before. Go and look yourselves. I don't know what's going on. But I think that's what's, it's getting worse and worse because it's dragging on even more. I'm hearing about, you know, all the passporting and all that sort of stuff that's definitely going to come. We're definitely going to get some sort of shit over Christmas. You just know it. Putting the army on the streets now, or, well, in, their, in the trucks. Hmm, is that the first move? Maybe that's a bit of a conspiracy theory, but you know what? Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> Speak to you in a bit. Bye. Hector's found the sunspot again, haven't you, Hector? Good morning everyone, it's Wednesday morning and I'm in a different part of the boat. I thought I'd come in here because I've got my black magic camera now all set up on its tripod so it looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, I actually slept last night, I had a good night's sleep. So I, I think I went to bed just before midnight and I didn't wake up till about half seven. So I've had a good seven and a half, eight hours sleep last night which is fantastic. So I think it did me good to get it all off my mind just a little bit. So yeah, um, I did just want to catch up a little bit, that's why I'm speaking to camera this morning like this. Is um, I was talking about the discrimination thing. And uh, I know that the, the comeback will be, well, you needed to have a yellow fever jab to go to certain parts of the world or else you couldn't go. Yeah, of course you did. Um, that's not discrimination. I don't see that as discriminatory. Um, the problem is it's not because of the vaccine. It's because of what it actually is. It's not just about these certain things. It's about having a, a, a vaccination passport um, and all this sort of stuff, which I don't agree with. Absolutely don't agree with. It's actually show me your papers, please, to get into a pub or whatever. And that's coming. That is actually coming. Well, look, look what I said at the start of this vlog. I can't go to the football because I'd have to be jabbed or after I've something stuck up my nose or my arse or whatever. And I'm not doing that. So that's discrimination. Now, also, this particular um, duh -duh is not normal. It's an mRNA gene therapy. You can go and look all this up yourself. You don't have to listen to me, really. But so it's, it's first of its kind, or first in in um, used on the general you know population of the world. Um, all these other things that people talk about, like polio, smallpox, and all this sort of completely different type of um, vaccination, completely different. All I would say on that is go and uh, do a little bit of research yourself, and you'll find that the gene therapy type is the first of its kind. It failed. All the others that they've tried to do before failed at animal stage. 
um, there's a lot of stuff going on. Just go, just go and look up the yellow card reporting system and the, and the equivalent in the United States, and I just, just look at it. I can't tell, I can't tell you exactly what's going on because I'll just get this video, just get banned. Um, but all you need to do is go and look, and you have to understand how they're reporting the figures. And it's strange that it was one rule for one and one rule for the other. I'm going to have to leave it at that. But um, maybe I'll start a different channel where I can talk about this probably and not care if we get banned, because obviously this isn't really the place for it. Old Lewis, you know, that old sage who seems to think he's Martin Bloody Luther King, is uh, now wanting to fund some sort of black teachers, um, I don't know, get more black teachers into teaching. Well, I'll tell you what, here's an idea. How about getting good teachers into teaching? Rather than all this divisive black, white, pink, green, I don't bloody know. It seems everything, doesn't it? Everything. Everything. Lesbianism, homosexuality, transphobia, Islamophobia, all these is and all this cock, they're just dividing us. And it's all nonsense, because we all get on, don't we? So we might not agree with each other, but we can get on. But I tell you, I don't know what's going on. Right, so what's going to happen today? I'm going to make some t-shirts. I'm going to get all the stuff ready for tomorrow's live stream. Um, and we probably will avoid all this sort of talk on there we'll just have a laugh and a couple of beers and Andrea's going to be with us as a special guest so that's brilliant we'll have such a laugh with her I'm sure especially if she has a couple of glasses of wine it'll just be hilarious so yeah so I've got a little bit of artwork to do I'm doing I'm at the moment I'm doing some artwork for the t-shirts I'm doing <laughs> that'll trigger some people let me tell you I might wear one of them tomorrow night we'll see and uh yeah other bits and bobs work I've just been doing a little bit of proper work so but that's not great at the moment and I think that's about it for the for the moment, I suppose. I'll speak to you in a bit. Bye. Oh, and one more thing before I go. You know, obviously I was taking a little bit of the mick out of the Facebook thing. And uh, I've had a chat with a couple of people on uh, online about this and why I don't use Facebook. And uh, it's because of the control. That's what it's all about, about the way they can control it. If you have businesses on Facebook and you be a little bit of a naughty boy, or they deem you to be a naughty boy on your personal account, they then have control of your business accounts which is wrong they lock you out of it so you could look if you've got a business built on Facebook you're an idiot because if you do anything dodgy or they just decide which they have done there's a fellow artist who just got blanked for no reason she just got her business taken away off Facebook for no reason but the funny thing is is one of the guys that we get on with quite well it's a fellow photographer Bill um, good photographer so go and check him out if you go on our MeWe you'll just search Bill Pound, I suppose, I don't know. But go on our MeWe group and uh, you'll see some of his stuff. He is a good photographer, does a lot of motorsports. But he got banned, he got a three day ban on Facebook. He gave us a screenshot, which I thought was funny. And uh, all he had done is he'd commented on these nutters who are sitting on the M25, or these, not Extinction Rebellion, are they? What are they? I don't know, Insulate Britain. And the bloke himself hasn't, his house ain't even insulated. This is true, you couldn't make this up, his house isn't insulated. And also, he uh, there's a report, some pictures in the paper this morning, in uh, that there was six diesel cars on his farm. So <laughs> he's a hypocrite. Anyway, he commented on one of the posts, and all he said, you should run them over. That's all he said, run them over. And that was it. And he got a three-day ban for that. You can't make this shit up, honestly. So I'm, gl I'm glad people are waking up to Facebook too. Get off it. It's a load of bollocks, bye. <laughs> I've got a bit of an issue, I tell you. Have a guess what? Some of you know that I've got a channel called Life According to the Gnome, and a few of you subscribe to it because that's where I talk a bit of nonsense. And have a guess what? I can't upload to it anymore. Shall I tell you why? Because um, Google wanted me to re verify the account, okay, because I hadn't signed into it for a bit, and um, it wanted to send a message to an email address that I no longer have because I used to have Life According to the Gnome.com or .co.uk or whatever. But um, I stopped that a while ago when we had all the lockdowns. I had to get rid of some of these domains that I had be just because of the costs. We had to cut down on the costs. So now I can't access that channel. So I've decided I am going to start a new one. And it doesn't matter if I get banned on it because it's not connected to anything else. And uh, it's called It's All Too Much Bite. I'll have to give you details below because um, you won't find it on search yet because it's too new. I need... Um, loads of subscribers to actually get it going really but whether that'll happen or not it don't matter but at least i can have a rant at, at my own little telly <laughs> speak to you soon bye it's here though and up and running so um who knows when it'll be searchable but like i say i'll put a link below i'll put a link on me and all that sort of stuff so any of you that like me ranting can go and have a listen to me ranting bye look at this flipping bread from hovis 
every slice is like this. I've got half the loaf missing. It should go straight down. That's really bad, isn't it? How can I make a bloody sandwich out of that? Bye. Conversely, this is something I really like. This is milk bread. They're only little baby breads, though. Or milk roll, I say. Um, it is by Warburton's, though. You know, those are uh, halal people. But anyway, I digress. It's full of calcium. Very good for you. Hardly anything nasty in it at all. Bye. But you can't really have a cheese sandwich with it. He's sitting out there in the dark. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Watching the syndicate. Leave you in the dark. Well, I don't need to be in the light if I'm watching the telly. Oh, look. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, there you are. Bye. Bye. Oh, there you are. Oh, if we press the other button. Oh, now you're pink. I'm just changing your colours. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <sighs> well, Hector's gone sleepy night nights. I'm still playing Transport Fever 2. <laughs> but perhaps I should go to bed too. Nighty night. Happy Thursdays, everyone! It's Thursday morning and we're back out on the water, aren't we, Lee Lawson? We're going up to the Northampton Arm and back. It's a bit chilly, but I've got my posh top on today. I've got it back from the old motorbike stuff. Look at this. I don't know whether you can see. This is Klim stuff. I think this was like, like bloody 250 quid, wasn't it, Lee? It was a ridiculous price. I didn't pay for it, obviously, it was business. Mm. Bye. It's Matt on the day boat. <laughs> I'm drifting. Oh, I thought that was Enigma. I'm sad and recognise the boat. They've normally got flowers in the jug at the front. There we go, the start of the Northampton Arm. Well, the start of the locks. Bye. <laughs> Do you think the winding hole is big enough for us? Mm. Ooh! <laughs> wobble, wobble. Mm, you did. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Lee, what are you doing? I'm doing my feet. Why are you wiggling your feet? Well, I think I grip too much with the tuck of this. It's not crap, but it kind of feels a bit, you know, weird. You just need to wiggle it. Mm. I'll tell you what, this blooming rain jacket that I've got on. Now let me turn around again. This clean thing, for one, it's absolutely huge. It's designed to have body armour underneath it. So it makes me look like a triple XL or a quadruple E sextuplet XL. Because I think it's also American sizes. So this is 2XL that I got for, to put on the over my motocross stuff when I used to do dirt biking. Um, so it was about right once you've got a load of body armour and a jacket on underneath. Um, but 2XL, nah, I'll tell you what, this is definitely 4 or 5XL and you look like a nutter and it's too hot so I'm not sure I'll be wearing much of this. I might wear it in winter when I've got coats underneath but Jeannie McNamara, that's it, bye. There's Lee again. You hopefully won't need body armour on the kayak. <laughs> 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 Pulling around. <laughs> Pulling around. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> right, 
Have a guess what? Here comes Hector. Lee's going to put him on the paddleboard. Mm. Hello, Hector. Have you got your life jacket on? Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm not sure Hector's that impressed, Lee, to be fair. Look. Oh, he's having a wee. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lee, don't forget your oar. You okay there, Hector? You mighty hound. <laughs> For fuck's sake. He doesn't look very impressed. No, he's, he's better than I thought he was going to be. Well, he had a lot of chores. <laughs> Hector on the paddleboard, I say. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Smile, Hector. <laughs> There's a good boy. <laughs> Please don't jump in. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Oh no, stand still. Stay still. There's a good boy. You just want to see dad, don't you? There's a good boy. <laughs> Dog. Come well, on, you go, dad. There's a good boy. There we go. Do you want me to strap him to something? Sit. Hector. Hector, sit down. Have you come in the kayak with me now? Oh, he's interested where mum is going now, aren't you? What do you think of that, Hector? Hey, stay there. Now you have to sit down. There's a good boy. <laughs> sit down. He's sort of half sitting on me. Oh, is he? <laughs> so you go sit there and then I'll follow. Okay. <laughs> Hector, you enjoying your little kayak? <laughs> I'll tell you. What a mighty hound you are. There we go. A good boy. Good boy. Hmm. <laughs> this is our bed's always a mess, isn't it? Maybe one day a year our bed has nothing on it but bed items. Oh. <laughs> but every other time. I know. We try not to have, but then something always ends up living on it. I'll tell you. Lee, after all this morning's fun, you've got to go to work now, haven't you? Yes. I'll tell you. I'm just doing a review of my purchase on Go Outdoors and then I will... What, what did you purchase on Go Outdoors? A wetsuit. Oh, is it all right? Yeah. Did you get wet? <laughs> oh. I haven't worn it yet. It's not been oh. cold enough. <laughs> so how can you review it? Well, it just didn't... It wasn't reviewing that product. It was reviewing their service. Oh. And you can't beat a good service every now and again. <laughs> Lee, I'm moist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lee, I'm going to go and get everything ready for tonight's live stream now, okay. so I best make sure everything's um, charged up and that. Indeed. I have actually done a bit of work this morning. Oh, good. My, see, my work only takes like 10 seconds, <laughs> and I earn 40 to 74p. 74p. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh, look, didn't me T-shirts come out well? So there's my one, or one of my ones. Here's one for the lady of the boat, because of her lady garden issues. And here's obviously one for me. <laughs> Bye. We're getting ready for the live stream, everyone. Andrea's here, look, she's on her phone, obviously I'm a child. <laughs> obviously unsociable. <laughs> 
and Lee's um, just Lee. Look, do you like a t-shirt? Yes. I made that today. I'm quite <laughs> clever, aren't I? Mine's my Pramani. Is it? Pramani, I say. <laughs> on your big old jelly wobblers. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I forgot to say we just had an emergency, didn't we, Lee? Did we? Hector thought he broke his leg. <laughs> Or Andrea thought Hector I broke his leg and was rather dramatic. <laughs> but there was nothing wrong with him. He was just looking for a bit of uh, sympathy. Weren't you, Hector? And a sausage. There's nothing like a sausage on a Thursday, I say, boy. <laughs> <laughs> sucking a ring. Oh. <laughs> it made me drunk and I didn't mean to be. You're going to try and blow some vape rings. You really weren't like Dave's boat, were you? I wasn't what? Like Dave's boat. Dave's boat is ringy-tastic. It is. Hang on, we can do this. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Bye. Say bye, Andrea. Bye, Andrea. Hey, say bye. Bye. Oh, what a week it's been. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. It's that time of the week again, the end of the vlog. Well, um, oh, f it now, I've forgotten what I was going to say now. For goodness sake, it's, you don't understand how hard it is sometimes in front of the camera. It's all too much, I tell you. Good morning everyone, it's the morning after the night before I say. We had a good laugh on the old live stream last night, so I think I'm just about recovering. I bet Andrea's got a blooming hangover this morning. Uh, Lee seemed okay when she got up. Um, I'm kind of okay, I'm feeling a little bit um, ropey, but not, not bad, not a proper hangover. But yeah, it was like, it was almost felt like a, a pub meeting, <laughs> so like a virtual pub. Uh, I enjoyed it, it was a good laugh. Uh, thank you to everyone who commented and joined in, and sorry if we didn't get to your to your comments. Uh, it's quite hard when they're just going past and can't see because we have to wear glasses. And uh, Mr P, these glasses, I'm going to put a link below and uh, where I got them, the link to, to Amazon where I got them. I can't remember exactly how much. It might have been two pairs for 16 quid. I'm not, not sure. But um, yeah, they do them in all the different powers. So yeah, get everyone in these, uh, I call them Benny Hill cameras, <laughs> not camera, Benny Hill glasses because you look like Benny Hill. <laughs> if anyone knows who Benny Hill is. Anyway, yeah. End of the vlog. It's been quite a, an eventful week, hasn't it, Hector? Hector's sitting down there. Yeah, we've done quite a lot this week. Um, weather's definitely turning for the worst again. It's pretty foggy out there this morning. But um, it's looking okay for the weekend, so we might get out uh, on the kayak and sup again. And it's awesome having Hector on the, <laughs> on the things yesterday. It was blooming funny. So, yeah, fair play. So, yeah, so end of the vlog. Hope you've all had a brilliant week. And I hope you have a brilliant weekend. And we'll see you very soon. Bye.